It's summer. Usually everything is pretty quiet. There's no reason to make waves unless you are on the beach. Just out of curiosity, I was checking a few days ago what happens to the Linux distros used for gaming, expecting no change at all from a few months back. Boy, I was wrong. I told you last time that Casio S was the fastest growing distro back in May 2025. You would expect such statements to tamper down over time. You can't usually grow forever on a very competitive market. Well, until now. Using ProtonDB, we can find out how many Linux users select which distro for gaming based on the individual user reports. We end up with this picture, showing the changes in distro usage over time and percentage since 2019 until now. In July 2025, it seems almost unreal. Ubuntu is now becoming a minority choice for gamers on Linux. Back in 2019, it was almost the default with more than 40% of gamers using Ubuntu. Now look how far things have gone, Ubuntu is at less than 8% usage share. And Casio OS, continuing on its steady growth, has overtaken Ubuntu as it reached 8.3% based on the last figures. Even you were to discount Casio OS, Ubuntu would be on the third spot for several months now after Fedora anyway. Canonical is clearly losing steam, and very fast, at least for those who care about games. Note that Cache OS is not just a popular topic for gamers. It turns out that it's reached the top spot on the DistroWatch ranking too, by far. So it's getting noticed. There are also recent comparisons of the performance of Bazite, SteamOS, and Cache OS on the Steam Deck. While Cache OS performs well overall, it does not seem to bring any advantage compared to SteamOS in terms of FPS in games. At least for this device. Back to the top of the ranking, Fedora seems to solidify around 10% more or less, and Linux Mint is just a step beyond that, with typically about 12%, making it stay at a solid second place as well behind Arch Linux that remains the undefeated master for many years now. As Casio S grows, it may start to cannibalize some of the share of Arch Linux, but so far it looks like its growth has been mostly out of non-Arch Linux users. Manjaro is landing into the depths of the ranking, now below 3%, it won't be too long until its name is removed from the list. Nothing surprising if you have been following the drama around the distro, and the fact that it completely lacks a reason for existing in 2025 compared to what's already out there. At the bottom of the chart, we can also see Pop! OS barely making it above 3%, no wonder since it's not been updated for years, and the System76 team seems to be more focused on the Cosmic Desktop than anything else these days. Too bad, because at its height, Pop! OS was a great Ubuntu alternative with a lot of useful features baked in and a very stable experience. It could have been the new Linux Mint if they had managed to keep resources allocated to work on it. Now, it's not clear that they would be able to claw back some share even if they magically released a new version tomorrow. I'd say the trust is gone after so little activity for such a long time. In a way, Linux Mint is the excellent counterexample. It does not make waves, barely anyone talks about it, but sticks to a high-quality distro release schedule, and the results speak for themselves, stability and trust is paramount. Despite the changes around them, both Nabara and Bazite seem to keep hanging on at a stable share, close to 5% each. However, it seems that both have stopped growing at that point and may be stuck at the current threshold. I'm not sure there is, however, much future when it comes to Bazit, since SteamLS will eventually be rolling out to more and more devices out there. I guess it depends how much Valve does in terms of hardware support, and if Bazite provide tangible benefits on top of what Valve delivers. That's it for this time. Enjoy your summer and stay tuned for more updates on Linux distro usage later in this year.